you friends uh, uh, it is uh, uh, you know putting all my experience together in few of the slides which I would uh, explain you what are the factors we should <coughs> consider before even designing this structure as the land prices are becoming high and demand for car parkings and the best utilization of the land structures are being built through minimum setbacks have become necessary in the city you know the bylaw says so many meters from the edge of the property you can build it so uh, we are facing uh, shortage of the land and so number of basements have increased this has led to a minimal earth in the urban environment to have natural earth where we can grow trees which is the important aspect you take any big area you are left with only 2 meters all round as a natural earth which is available so how do we grow landscape on a structural slab next next one landscape in the urban uh, environment as i explained you number of car parks have led to the basements connecting various tower blocks you know if you take a, a 10 acres land and start putting the building and the rest of the area is covered with what is called as a podium slab on which uh, fire driveways and landscape areas are all built <laughs> so that is the contention of mine in explaining in urban environments so it's not for rural or uh, outside cities the area which is between the tower block and the other areas of the landscape or the fire drive is normally referred as a podium slab okay this has to take care of uh, as this is very large there will be structural uh, complications also which will come into uh, utilization of the land around the building mostly uh, you know all round the tower blocks we have to have a fire drive way apart from fire driveway it will be uh, uh, you know the landscape area which will be used for various other purposes <coughs> i have uh, tried to list out the various uh, landscaping trends which are there we, if we understand the trends which are there then we can look at the taking care of the landscaping trends so one is the fire driveway which i explained you which has to take care of the fire engine movement around the building paved walkways from part to the part people will be walking we should not allow them on the lawn or a landscape so those are the pathways defined in a very haphazard manner or you know looking into the then sports facilities like tennis basketball go karting skating rinks jogging tracks etc all of these are being provided on the slab because we don't have mother earth left out after the planning is taken care the large lawn facilities in organic profile not geometric because landscape would like to grow in an organic fashion so that it reflects the naturality of the uh, lawn and things like that then there are terraced lawns like you know lawn at 5 feet level lawn at 3 feet level lawn at 4 feet level so those are the different types of uh, uh, lawn facilities then urban mounds you know generally a huge area of land is made into mounds and uh, there people will be relaxing in a very natural environment just lying down or sitting chatting and things like that the water bodies of different depths it can be a reflect pool to reflect something which could be 6 inches of depth which could be 450 for uh, fountains and things like that then water features there will be cascading walls which has got uh, water cascading down and uh, along with it uh, spouts which will be you know uh, jetting out water into a different courses fountains are very many for types of fountains are available a short and very high bubble type or you know you can choose 
like you know i have seen in one place the uh, water will jump from here to there from there to there like that it's a sequence water flow all these are all landscaping trends which are coming in walkways connecting facilities either covered or uncovered like you know the pathways which i said sometimes architects would like to give a you know profile to that definition with portals or with uh, granite or with all of those things planters to take care of shrubs could be floral or ornamental because you know you would like to not just see a lawn you would like to see some plants around you and uh, taking uh, either flower or ornamentals that is another uh, area which will be of importance to us as structural engineers then you know sometimes an avenue is created with trees on either side and a pathway just to reflect what is happening in the nature so that type of uh, will be there swimming pools to profiles and varying depths like kids pool jacuzzi sometimes they are covered with tensile roofs for uh, no aesthetic reasons then openings to facilitate ventilation to the basements covered with skylights of various profiles and shapes then mural walls and sculptures like you know when you are walking you would like to see a statue there of anything can be imagined so such uh, murals will also will have a weight which has to be taken into then you know the recent trends which we have seen is uh, amphitheaters which are you know where uh, 20 or 30 or 40 people can assemble and then get around and spend time so each needs uh, arrangements to be done then floating solariums these have been a recent trend like this the structural framework is there completely closed with glass so that when you are inside it gives you the heat energy what is required they are called solariums so these are the aspects of landscape which normally is coming on slabs that is where uh it and the environment comes into picture if it was on grade or mother earth all the problems will be very very simple whereas when it comes on to a slab even if even a project concept landscape drawing showing various elements of landscape as i explained with depth of fill required to achieve the objectives need to be identified if lawns are there maybe 300 350 mm of fill is okay if plants are there you should say whether it is 700 mm or 600 mm of the earth fill so all these areas where the mural is coming it should be 5 meters high wall so how do we enter it to this lab all such things have to be identified what happens normally is in the concept of landscaping all such details will not be firmed up so we need to understand what loads we should take it like should i assume this area with 600 mm of filling or should i assume this area with 1.2 m of filling like that we have to identify then the profiles can really change as the scheme progresses in the concept stage because the structure will begin much earlier than the landscape coming on to those structure so we need to assess the loads which are coming due to the landscape it could be uh, you know direct weight it could be like if a mural wall 5 meters is there it should be stable so i need to take care of those moments which are coming on to my floor system like that so in the concept stage it will be zone wise loading depending on the landscape details so whatever features which i have explained you if it is an amphitheater we will slope this slab itself in that terracing fashion sometimes what happens you know three four steps only they want on a large area so there are materials which are very very light right they are called uh, modi foam they are available it's a very light weight material 28 kg per cubic meter so you can just lift one 1 meter by 1 meter by your hand so such low but very high strength in compression even a 
small street concrete fire engine can move over it. It is such a tough material. They are available. Before completing the podium slab, the fully finalized landscape details shall be available and proper scrutiny of loads and its location need to be identified. What happens when we complete the design aspects? We have only got areas which are located. If at all there are, after the fine-tuning of the landscaping detail, if there are changes which are there, we need to look at those loadings and then take care of the if it is not possible, we will tell them that yes, this needs to be strengthened, this needs to be uh, changed, or you should use a uh, material which is lighter in weight, finally you get the same aspect of it. Like that, we should arrive at that. Then the structural challenges are, as most of the projects are going into less footprint coverage of the tower block. That means everybody advertises, you know, ground coverage is only 20%, ground coverage is only 25%, like that. So the remaining area is all which is for the landscape and the drive. But large enough to post structural, because they are in, in terms of acres of land it will be there. Structural system shall take care of the use of the space below, because the slab which is forming the landscape flow covers whatever is called as car parkings, the driveways, services requirements such as electrical rooms, DGs, water tanks, sewerage treatment plants. The ceiling of the upper basement shall accommodate various services from the tower block. Like from the tower block, if a service line has to go to the outside the property, all such services which flow in gravity, like as a systems which will have to flow with gravity like sewage needs to be identified and then the depths of excavation has to be decided. Next. Apart from these penetrations in the slab due to drainage, collection of excess water from landscape area, like what happens, uh, the, the pipe, disposal pipes are at intervals we have to drill the holes through the, uh, depending on the location because it cannot be finalized at the time of casting of a slab. So we will definitely do core cuttings and take. So that poses another problem if something has to go through a slab at a critical location, we need to look at that whether we can accommodate that or not, shift them uh, elsewhere where it could be permitted. Disposal of surface runoff on the paved area and the fire drives. This also is equally important because uh, you should allow the water to flow away from the road as soon as possible. Next. Main concern for a structural engineer would be soil profile to the required depth of the foundations and availability of the rock. What happens when we have two, three basements for all the services, uh, the subsoil conditions like rocky terrain or what is the type of soil which we have got. Otherwise what happens, uh, you know, electrical consultant says 200 millimeters for me. Air condition contractor will say 600 millimeters for me. Electrical fellow will say 150. So if we add up all that, one, one and a half meter will go. So if it is a rocky terrain, excavation of that rock itself will be time consuming and money consuming. So lot of uh, things have to be relooked before we even system design a system. Identifying the landscape areas, features, openings with podium and grade. See, these are very important as you have drawn the basement line and landscape person does not visualize where the slab is, where the mother earth is. So, so many times I have seen half the area of a water body is outside the uh, podium and what half the area is on the uh, slab. So those are the areas where it definitely will get a crack. So we need to address such issues also. Identifying loads due to landscape. See, there are different materials which are people say, uh, but I would say uh, saturated earth is the always best to take for the loading purposes. You can use a lighter uh, film material at a later stage or somewhere you want to 
change your landscape. But any lighter material is the first time installation is okay. But when it is requiring maintenance, they will not bring the same. So it is always a challenge to structural engineer to accommodate earth with saturated conditions. Structural system should allow the services all which runs below. Surface runoff and collection and its disposal. See what happens. Surface runoff and its collection. See when rain falls on a paved surface or a driveway, there is no absorption. So it has to flow. So that collection of water will be quite high and we need to create drains at intervals, uh, downtake, run it through a pipe and then dispose it of outside. Next.